Bluetooth is paired, Wi-Fi is paired, you see the icons on the screen, they stay solid. And now, this question comes to my mind, and I'm going to make a second video on this tool, and I make sure that you're subscribed to, to watch it. Is this a DIYer's tool, the guy that likes to do his own stuff in his driveway, or is it a professional tool? Because Hello there, Pierre Repay here. Thank you very much for tuning in for another video. Today we're going to be doing something different. We're going to review the Innova 5610. I'm very excited for this one. It looks like a lot of people are interested in this scanner for its form factor. It's really it's a handheld scanner and it boasts some great features, bi-directional features. We, we all know these are professional great features. So today I would like to explore those features um, on a car and I'll, I'll let you know how it is before you go ahead and buy this. So Innova sent the scanner over for me to take a look at it and I would like to thank them for that. And I'd like you to know as well that Innova has no input on the way I, I make this video. Everything I say here is going to be my profe professional opinion as an auto specialist. With that being said, let's go to the vehicle and explore those features. This is it. This is a 2014 Dodge Journey uh, dual variable valve timing 2.4 liter engine. Let's go connect to the DLC. Okay, this is the data link connector right here. Let's connect to it. And one thing I wanted to show you guys is that you see this connector right here from the scanner. It's got this LED light. When you connect it and you establish connection, it's powered on. It just it turns on this LED that, tell, that lets you know that it's connected. Okay, now I have it plugged in. It automatically starts to connect to the car. That's actually one feature that I like about this. It just connects automatic connects automatically to the vehicle without you having to, you know, go through the menu and and do what you have to do. So I still haven't um, downloaded the app yet. So I'm going to download this later. Uh, we're gonna go through the menu first. So let's skip this and let's go through the menu. So global OB82 Dodge, and it shows that there's no code that are active in this car. And all those um, icons that you're seeing blinking on the top is basically those are all the monitors that haven't that haven't run yet. And the ones in green, those are the ones that already run. So the monitor, your computer system runs tests on different components in the car, for example. And right here I see EVAP, the EVA, that's flashing. That's for, I hope we can focus on it. Um, it's for evaporative emissions so this one right here um, there's a test that's done on it I think you, you need two key cycles for the for the test to be complete so um, right off the bat when you connect to the car you can tell if you have which you know monitor have run and which monitors have not I want to take some time to navigate through these menus and, and, and you can tell right here this has a lot of buttons and it looks like there's a button for everything and right here I have live data if I go press the button for live data I can see the live data on this vehicle which is very useful now if I want to navigate through them you know I can the the the, the pit that I want to go to I can just navigate through it and um, the issue that I have with this screen is the refresh rate I don't think the refresh rate, I think the baud rate that the, the can communicate with this car, I don't think it's it's that fast, that's my opinion, but honestly, I, this is, I don't think that's fast at all. That's one of the complaints that I have, and the data that you see here, you can also graph them, there's a button right here, option to graph the data, that would be good for, of course, oxygen sensors. Um, so you can do this while the vehicle is running and stuff like that. And if you want to erase codes, there's a dedicated dedicated button to erase the code. So now right here, so system status, status you got this button right here. And if you press it, this can scan individual um, modules in this vehicle. You can you can even select to scan all module, or you select which which module that you would like to scan in this vehicle. So 
you really don't have to navigate through menu of course there's a menu button to get the menu right here you can go through active test uh, special function service reset service check and even hybrid EV battery test you can do right here and I did a test on it yesterday with, to check the battery and it did that stuff beautifully it lets me know if the battery that the battery is good and stuff I think that was a, a really interesting test um, but all in all all these functions right here you have them of course it's not gonna work on all all vehicles but I think it, it works on this Dodge journey that I have right here right now I am under special functions and under special functions you get a few few things first special functions has a lot of uh, relearn like cam crank relearn and um, this is some force monitor test um, and you get this injector kill test basically um, that will turn off an injector. Um, I guess this is similar to a cylinder balance test, but this basically really kill your injector and that will turn the engine off. So now engine has to be running. It tells you which, which conditions should be met and you put this vehicle in those conditions and, and perform the test. So the engine is running right now. And for example, if I have injector one and I kill it, the whole engine should not turn off but in this case the whole engine turns off I don't know if you can tell it turns off the whole engine so I hit finish obviously it works but it it looks like it kills all the injectors so let's hit back so these are what we have under special functions and it looks like in the scanner every time I do a special function test when I hit back it it freezes I gotta wait a little bit. I don't know if, if this is the case for this one, but that's what I'm seeing right now. But um, some of those special functions they work, but I'm gonna go through active test. Active test is basically the bi directional test that they advertise with the scanner. Let's see if it works, but every time we do a function test, this thing freezes. Now let's try the active test. The car is not running right now. Let's see what we have under it. Uh, the, it's going to use the powertrain control module. That's the only one that's, that's available. I guess that's because it controls pretty much everything, everything in this car. But this one, this test right here works in this particular vehicle. This 2014 Dodge Journey. So the cooling fan relay one, I tested it earlier. It literally um, activates the relay. So if you're diagnosing a car, and from from the con engine control module to the relay if you do that test it energizes the relay that tells you the circuit is fine so you can go from the relay to that cooling fan and test to see do a circuit test so that that's really really important and the diagnostic side of things so that does a, an injector control state i'm not sure if this is going to work right here so you basically can toggle the injector on um, it says toggle control state it toggles it and this is right here none and I can hear it click and um under the hood yeah I hear a click and where it toggles it says that it toggles it um, so I guess that test works because I can hear it uh, let me go under the hood and see if I can give you um, a little bit of a of a view or maybe a listen. Yep, you hear it. If you hear the click, that's toggling on and off the injector. You hear it? I hope the camera mic can pick it up. I hear a click basically after every two seconds. Yep, it's toggling it and on and off. So, active test in this vehicle looks like it works. I want to go through active test all along. We know the injector toggle test works, and I have done this um, the relay test. This one works too, and we got injector control test that also works for individual injectors. And the fuel pump relay control state that's our next one. So I'm gonna try to turn on the the fuel pump, and I can hear this thing running. And let me hit off. I'm gonna give you guys a listen. I'm gonna go to the back. I'm chilling out of the car right now and let's try it.
fuel pump turns on. I guess you can get pro features on a budget with Innova. Well, if you like what you saw in this video, go in the description, use the link and promo code and get yours at a discounted price. And I can give a lucky winner the one that I have right here for this video. Um, just subscribe and leave a comment about how the scanner will be useful to you and I will, I will give it to you. But for now, this is it. Have a good day. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.